Well, Daryl, um, it's been a difficult afternoon here at Swindon Town, hasn't it? Yes, yes it has. No, it has been. Um, to be fair, it was men, men against boys, really. I think you've seen a side there that would, I'd expect to be in the top three come the end of the season. Um, and it's a steep learning curve for us. We, we, we've started the season quite well. But like I said to you last week, we've only started the season well. There's some, some really, really excellent sides in this league. I'm sure that'll come to fruition in the next few weeks and we need to learn quickly and come, deal, deal back with them situations. Coming somewhere like here, I guess you always knew that the first job would be to nullify what is undoubtedly quite a potent you know, strike force. Mm. How well do you think we did that in the opening exchanges? Not good enough. Not good enough. No, we're not good enough. They know that. Um, but we have to learn from it again. We have to learn from it. You know, you have to learn quick. It's not an excuse, you need to learn fast. You can't, you know, we're young as a group, we all know that, but you, you can't use that excuse every week. You need to learn on the job, unfortunately, and some of them have got to learn a bit quicker. How disappointing was it for you to concede two goals in the last, call it, 10 minutes of the first half? Yeah, the second one probably more than the first one. I think, listen, you've got to be, you, you're kidding on a little bit. Swindon should have been winning. You, you, you can't deny that. The second one's a killer, really, because you think if it goes on that one, then you've still got time to, you know, adjust certain things to get back into the game. When it goes two, and you know, the players they can bring on are outstanding as well. I think uh, the depth of their squad is, is very good. The speed they've got is very good. So you know that we're going on to the game that they, their counter attacking will, will be a danger. And the second goal was was a, was a poor one to concede right at time. Up until ten minutes before the interval, of course, uh, we were looking fairly defensively resilient um, in terms of the threat which Swindon posed. How much did them two goals affect your half-time team talk, and what really can you say? Yeah, to I them? think they affected our half-time team. Not affected Swindon's, affected mm -hmm. the crowd. Mm -hmm. Um, affected everything really. Um, we've got to do better. And it's, it's very difficult to analyse and assess the goals now obviously because it's straight after the game and it's a bit raw still, but we've got to be better. I think we've got to listen. They're, they're a very good side as well. I don't think any weapons winning. They're a top side in this division for me. And um, we knew that coming in today, the top goal scorers in the division. Um, they're a very, very good side. So, in terms of half time, uh, you brought Arthur Gunnar and Bryce and Tambury um, on for the second period. Yeah. How did you hope that they would influence well, the game? I thought they'd done really well, both of them, to be fair. Bryce sat in the middle of the pitch and made us a little bit stronger in it. I thought Arthur was a real threat on the ball. He, he's, he's not fit yet, and neither is Bryce, to be honest. Mm. Uh, that's, that's the difference, probably, again, between the two squads. You look at they can bring on you know, outstanding players, they've had good careers, and we're bringing on players that we're trying to play fit. They're not actually fit yet because they've not, they've not had a real pre-season that many games yet um, and we, we know we're a walk in progress yeah. but we need to you know make that progress a bit quicker for me in general terms to what extent do you think we made the fight of it in that second period yeah i think we did to be fair i thought we were slightly better second half um but again i'll, I'll go back to slightly better is not good enough mm. i want to see i want us to be better than that. i want us as a, as a team as a club to have higher standards than that um try and raise the bar at, at the football club and like i said we've got young players many they need to make quick at times, our build-up play seems to be very promising. Um, yeah, a lot of times, just that final ball which we were found lacking. Would you, would you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. The final ball, maybe the, the final decision um, is, is lacking. And we've seen that in, in previous games as well, to be fair. It's not, it's not just um, today. 3-0 um, came with just over 10 minutes to go. Would you say then, as a contest, it was game over? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And I'm guessing, geez, now I can't come quickly. No, quickly. looking forward to it. Yeah. Listen, I always find on, on Saturday at, at five o'clock it's difficult to to really, really assess. You, you know, you say things when you're, when you're a bit emotional in the change room. I think we've got to watch the game tomorrow and get ready for Newport and, and, and we go again. We, we know we're going to have these games in the season when you've got a young group that you go somewhere, you, you know, maybe a little bit as well. Rabbits and headlights in that first half with the crowd, the size of the club, the size of this club at this level. And that mm -hmm. maybe sh shook us a little bit as well. But again, we have to learn a new one. The players clearly were hurting after the game. Yeah. That, but that said, they came over to the fans. There was 126 of them in that away end. Yeah. We win together, we lose together. Yeah. Don't we? Always. Yeah, always. I think that, that, that's really important. For us as a club moving forward, we have to know where we live. You know, last, last season, you stay up in the, in the last last tater of season. I think the start we've had, which has been good and promising, maybe people got a little bit carried away with the expectations of where we're at. I think it's important that we understand the age of the team, the age of the group we've got, that there's going to be ups and downs during the season, but we have to come through them. It's today almost like a reality check, but one which we need to react positively to. We will react positively, there's no doubt about it. Um, we can't dwell on it. We have to see what we, see, see what we didn't do well, improve, learn, move on to next week and get ready for Newport. Excellent, mate. Cheers, thanks.